Hey, what's going on guys? Travis Patel here. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up multi-product listing ads. Pretty much what this is, is on Facebook, the news feed, you'll see multiple products that lead to different pages of your store in one single ad. So this can kind of help when we're creating our own e-commerce store, we're creating the collections, we have a lot of assortment of products. So you can get people into an area that they're not just going to buy one shirt or one necklace. They might buy a shirt, a necklace, a mug, you know, get those larger court, uh, cart orders, which is kind of the key when you have your e-commerce store to making a lot of money, getting those buyers coming back, buying a lot of products. So we're going to set up one of the styles of ads that you can show a wide variety of your products and try and entice to everyone. Um, so what we're going to do, we're here in the power editor, and this is how we're going to create these multi-product ads. First off, we'll just go ahead and create a new ad campaign like we usually do. This one will be multi-product, five products. We'll set a WC campaign, just like we always do. Our ad set. Harry Potter set up, mobile only. Make sure your conversion pixels there. All right. <clears throat> so first off, we need to associate the right page. You don't have to post on fan, your fan page first like you would the others because we're going to upload all the individual pictures right here. So we're going to go to create ad. You can see single image or video link or you can see the multiple images and links. So we're going to go with that one. Now we just add our text and our headline as usual. Basic <clears throat> text there. Oh, that's the destination URL. <clears throat> so for the first one, as you can see here, we have one, two, three, and you can go plus sign. So this will be how many products you're showing. This is what the ad looks like. So for each one, you'll have a different headline. Um, for what you got going on. So actually for this one, we're going to go with description. Simple. Now we need to select our image. All right, that's there. Create a see more URL. So this is what they can see. So for the see more, you could put the collection page here, actually. So they go to all your products in that niche. And then also our delay or our display URL will show the store. Tracking as usual, your pixels. First product looks good. Now we'll go through the other ones.
image. And you can go through here and add as many of these as you want. We're going to do about three or four products, maybe five here. Actually, I'm not sure if that one will get approved just because it has too much text, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. I got the same collection, that's perfect. Crop image. Maybe do that. Let's take out that made in the USA just so we don't have a problem. Perfect. Product two. Just kind of variety to the products we got. Good, looks good. Maybe just one more. Another shirt. So it looks good. We got five products listed there. All the content needed. Don't miss out on these awesome shirts. Next other product goodies not found storage. Check them out below. You can click through. Make sure it looks good. That's the ad we'll see. Next off, we need to go and do the targeting just like usual. So this one will create two or three ad sets. People. That's okay though. We'll slow drip it in. I guess I said 18 to 30. So this is women 18 to 30. So 5 million is quite a few people already. So change our ad placement. I'm going to go on mobile here. Campaign. Change this to. And we'll create one more. Double 
check. Everything should look good. Be good to go. Harry Potter women. And we'll upload changes. And there you go. That's how you set up a multi-product ad. Uh, works very well. Especially for collections, you got a lot of a lot of products in one niche, and you can kind of grow that niche audience with your custom audiences and retargeting and all that special stuff. So if you use all these uh, ad styles and techniques I've been showing you guys lately, um, you can really make it work together on kind of a web structure where it all just kind of everything has its purpose and it works in one big uh, machine type uh, faction. So. I'll be showing you guys a lot of that here in the upcoming videos on how we're tying these different ad styles together, but you need to know how to do them individually. So hopefully you got a lot from that out of this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to hit me up, and I look forward to talking to you soon. My name is Travis Patel. Have a good one.